Hey guys, Bob here. What do you know? Sunday Night Live, and uh, I'm coming to you from my spaceship tonight, giving you a different perspective on life with hope and prosperity that lies ahead if we survive the nuke out. I don't know. It's a crazy world we live in. I pray and have faith that that won't happen. But I've learned that billionaires are putting up these shelters now and there's companies that are selling underground homes imagine that high-end bomb shelters or imagine i remember that back in the 60s there were threats and there was a uh a radar base not too far from where i went to high school and we were concerned about those inter continental ballistic missiles so Fortunately, we've had peace since then, and pray it will continue. Now, this is not doom and gloom. This is hope, faith, and prosperity. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, this is not to be taken as financial advice. I'm just going to be sharing with you some very exciting information that you may or may not be aware of. Here's the reality. As you know, we're going from fiat currency into digital-based currency. It's imminent. The blockchain will solve a lot of problems. Regardless of the fact that there's lawsuits going on like crazy because we don't have clarity in this space, we will shortly. But it's preeminent what the future lies ahead for those that prepare for it. So... You can take advantage of what's going to happen or you can become a victim of what could potentially happen in the new world order, which may or may not happen. We shall see the future remains uh, unclear in that avenue, but you have choices. So make good choices, but uh, don't take what I'm saying or sharing with you tonight as financial advice. This is just some of the paths and resources that I've used to do some thinking, consider it education and entertainment, if you will. So with that in mind, let's get going. Who am I anyway? Well, like I said, I'm Bob. And I've been around this space for a number of years. I remember not too long ago, when we had the last run, the bull run, and we saw this asset grow to a dollar eighty, and uh, we had a substantial portfolio, and that's when we learned about DeFi. And here's a little lesson: don't get over leverage because when the market crashed, I got wiped out pretty bad. Fifty percent was evaporated in a day, and the loans got pulled back in, and most of it went away. So. I've had it and lost it and had it and lost it in real estate and in other businesses. But the fact remains, the future belongs once again to those people who position themselves ahead of change and are smart enough to take advantage of the imminent facts um, that prevail. So statistically, and this is, you know, you, you've got your Bitcoin maximalists. You've got the people that hate the XRP. They consider it a banker's token. Uh, but there's some information that I'm going to share with you tonight about what I've discovered uh, when it first launched uh, 11 years ago, I guess. Uh, Ripple is not XRP. XRP is the token used on the, the, the decentralized ledger, the XRP ledger. And it had spiked up to a, a high here, I guess, like almost three forty, maybe four dollars. And that neck of the woods, it was um, back a number of years ago. And then we saw a bump here, dollar thirty four, April of twenty one. <clears throat> Actually, it was back in March when it was like three bucks. Oh, you got to go this way. Here you go. 
open this up a little bit. Yeah. And you're sitting now. Great time to get it at, you know, 30 cents. Figuring that if it does all the money, it's going to be worth a lot more than the 50 cents that it is right now. And all they're doing is positioning the banks and the big financial institutions to take advantage of the imminent change as they flip the switch and they go to ODL as soon as there's clarification from the overreach from the SEC. We have clarity in this marketplace. You shall certainly see uh, a tremendous increase in the value of this asset. Not financial advice, but you can listen to this. The link will be below this uh, description in this video. But Watch this. Uh, guys, in case you don't realize, that's a clue. The link to this tweet will be available in the description of this video. Like I say, I managed the, uh, the Facebook group for a number of years, and uh, I've been accumulating XRP you know, since it's been uh, well under a buck for quite some time now. Here's a very interesting uh, clip too. Uh, the Schwartz Wisdom, uh, Crypto Erie shared this, but just listen because it talks about utility. And I'll show you some utility in a minute. You gotta make this as easy as physical cash. And that's what people don't understand about crypto and its value in addition to the storage of value, but in the transmission of it instantaneously around the globe, eliminating the friction about cross-better payments, but as well as in the retail marketplace that I'll share with you in a moment. And by the way, some of these links, the link to... David Schwartz is the CTO, that's technical officer uh, for Ripple.
The banks don't want it, but they're going to use it, and they're going to use Ripple. Wait and see. It's imminent. You wait until the SEC lawsuit, which is being won right now by Ripple. The facts just remain as it goes through uh, the due process that they will win this lawsuit big time, and you're going to see massive adoption of this technology. It's one of the primary reasons why this asset, as we have the Great Reset, you're going to see stocks and all the marketplace crash. You're going to have all the uh, physical uh, digital assets have the same result. And in the rebirthing, they're going to flip the switch. You're going to see XRP and XLM, the sister coin, in the retail marketplace and XRP in the financial market and banking industry. In addition to cross-border payments, I'll share with you some of the other things that are being developed verily as we speak. Here's another interesting clip about FTX partners with Visa to offer XRP and other crypto to millions of use. And now these are all clues, guys. Don't take my word for it. Do your own research. But this just validates the evidence uh, about why I hodl XRP. Now, this is a learning portfolio. The link to this will be in the description, too. You could learn all about the, the history of the ledger, how it works, its functionality, the key benefits and things that are coming out in the future, right up to and including programming on it. New intro to innovations on the XRP ledger. Exciting ways that the XRP ledger is evolving. Hooks. This is interesting. Hooks is very uh, unique when its permission is given to the ledger. It'll be a contract proposal for the ledger. They allow smart contract functionality. They're also going to have, uh, et, uh, yeah, the uh, fungible assets. NFTs are coming. Amazing future lying ahead for Ripple. And it's uh, it's multifunctionality here. Smart contract proposal for the XRP ledger where people right now, and there's tons of projects, and there's actually these banks are building their digital currencies on the XRP ledger. Once again, here's that tweet with the HODL the ODL. Now, showing some of the past transactions, I've got some uh, digital assets here. I just acquired some. This is in uh, Uphold, where I use Uphold. I've got a di digital visa that you spend digital assets like cash. It's amazing. So you can make deposits from your bank account or from your card and purchase digital assets and exchange them from one asset to the other asset. There's hundreds of assets, millions of users, hundreds of countries, and uh, you could go from digital assets to gold to store it in, uh, in uh, uh, we've got the, the, uh, yeah the uh the dollars the uh the crypto dollars but uh i used it principally uh for holding and storage i'm talking about uh a major advantage here in that uh it can be used easily and readily for spending anytime you need to. Uh, although hodling is the best way to succeed in this marketplace. 
And at this point in time, that's a wrap, guys. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own due diligence. But I'm going to be continuously accumulating this asset in the uh, uh, part of the XRP army and uh, await the uh, the lawsuit because the facts are clear that it's got the utility that the large banks are looking for. We are uh, represented by 73,000 people, by John Deaton. Uh, you got to pay attention to what's going on here. And all the following and majority of business right now is outside of the U.S. As soon as the SEC lawsuit is won or settled, XRP will acclaim itself to the position it rightfully deserves for all of the money. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Gotta go. Bye-bye for now.